Hey, baby. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I thought you were studying. <laughs> well, that's what you told me last. I'm just working. Maybe that was five minutes ago. <laughs> yes, it was. No, an hour did not go by. <laughs> it probably felt like an hour. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to tell you you have to study. <laughs> because I didn't have to. Because you should want to do it yourself. <laughs> it's true. No, I mean, I could tell you, and I could be annoying, and I could make you go back and study. But are you going to really learn anything from that? <laughs> no, the answer is no, you wouldn't. Because you have to find it yourself to want to study. Mm hmm. Take me, for example. I never wanted to study. But only when I realized I had to study did I start studying, and then I did. And I've been studying every day since. Oh, well, I mean, while I was in school, and then afterwards, I never had to study ever again. But. That's why you go to school, so you can study and then never have to do it ever again. <laughs> but if you don't study, then you're going to have to spend the rest of your life studying, basically. Mm-hmm, that's true. That's the part they don't tell you. A million percent. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, I mean, you can you can decide not to study and you can see what happens. I'm, I'm just I can I can only tell you what I know and what I know is if you don't study now you'll be studying for the rest of your life and that will suck because if you think studying right now is bad and it's stuff that you can like slightly care about imagine when it's stuff you just don't care about at all that's why you study now so you have choices and opportunities so you don't have to study things you really don't care about and you can only study things you really care about mm -hmm. baby I hated math which isn't fair because you know we shouldn't hate math math's actually super important for like life but oh my god as a student of math I did not like it when I was young <sighs> maybe it was the way math was taught I don't know but all I know is I did not like math class I did not did I not like any of my math teachers I think I liked them as people I just didn't like them as math teachers but just no one, there's only one teacher that really like spoke to me about math, and that was algebra. And I loved algebra. Still love algebra to this day. There's just something about like solving for x. I just love it. Don't love it when you have to solve for multivariables, like quadratic equations. Oh my god. Oh, nightmares. But, you know, just like basic fifth grade algebra, loved it. After that, not so much. But, I, even though I hated it, and even though I took statistics like four different times, I inevitably really studied and passed that class because I had to. Because not passing statistics means I didn't get a college degree. I needed that college degree so I can get a job. And here I am with a job and a college degree. And also not studying statistics anymore. Haven't even looked at statistics. You show me your quadratic equation right now and I will struggle to solve it. But I still have my degree. And I passed that class years ago. So see, this is, this is why you study. So that you should never ever have to study ever again. <laughs> Or because you, like, actually fundamentally care about the subject and want to know more. But, if that's not the reason, just do it so you don't have to study anymore, babe. Because once you pass it, I promise me, like, unless it's, like, reading or some kind of question about two trains leaving from two disparate times and you're trying to, like, find out what time they arrive somewhere. Because you actually end up doing that more often than you think. Not really with planes, with, I mean, trains, more with planes, you know. You're like, oh, God. <sighs> I get on a 2.15 flight from Charlotte and I land in Atlanta at 9.17. But at the same time, a, a United flight leaves LAX going to Dallas-Fort Worth. What time do I need to leave Atlanta knowing Atlanta is only three hours away from Dallas-Fort Worth to connect with my LAX flight while it does its round trip from LAX to Dallas-Fort Worth? And then you have to like figure that out because that's, I mean, not anymore because we have, you know, is it Trivago? I don't know. There's like a million other things now. So you don't have to really worry about planning connections. But once upon a time you did. You have to like actually know stuff to figure out when you need to connect in Dallas. 
Or you could just ignore that and make a lot of money and then you can just fly direct everywhere. And then you never have to worry about connections or math. <laughs> Long story short, baby, you just need to go back and study. I know it sucks and I know you don't want to. This was your break. Me, <laughs> me just being annoying at you. This was your break. I hope you enjoyed it. No, this was not the break you wanted. <sighs> Come here. I love you I know this is really shitty and it's really hard I get it it was when I did it it will be this way when you do it it will continue to be this way when our kids do it school wasn't made to be easy it was made to be like I mean it's education is not meant to be easy you're supposed to challenge yourself you're supposed to be pushed if it was easy, then are you really learning anything? Obviously not. And I know it sucks, because no one wants to spend these wonderful, wonderful Saturday nights just, like, hunched over a book and reading stuff. But... That's the only way to make it so you don't ever have to do it again. Like, if that's what you have to think to get out of it, then be my guest. Because that's what I did for me. You know, I just thought, I never want to do this ever again. That's how I got through statistics. I was not doing it a fifth time. And sometimes it takes that. Sometimes it takes banging your head into a wall so many times that you realize, oh my god, I just need to punch through with my skull. So I don't have to keep ramming my head into it. You know? But I can't push you like that. Because if, if it doesn't come from you, you're not. it's not going to It's not gonna be... Valuable, because I too am trying to teach you a lesson. Just like that school, which is making you study, I am trying to teach you a lesson about being a better person. Well, not necessarily a better person, you're the best person you can be. But better in the sense that like, you grow. Because that's, I think, the bigger lesson of life, is just growing. and Every day being a little better than you were yesterday. We all are growing every day. I try to do stuff every day to grow as well. I guess this is a long way of saying I think you should go back and study, baby. Okay? I know. I believe in you. I do. I really do. Go back in there. Open up that book. <sighs> Memorize just annoying facts that you'll hate and probably forget the second after the test is over. But you got to do it. Okay? I love you too. I'm proud of you. I know it's not easy. If you pass this test. <laughs> okay, we're not going to go that far, but something along those lines, yeah. All right? A little bit of incentive. Good girl, man. Run along. <laughs> mm.